They call them the dolls, but they're anything but. <laughs> Sorry, I can't repeat what Chad is saying right now because it'll get the video demonetized. Is the swear word for butt in the Bible? Oh, it's uh, describing a, a donkey, perhaps. Did you hear the Conan O'Brien story from Hot Ones where he said that he climbed on top of a water buffalo before the show once and the thing bucked him off and he almost broke his hip on the floor and then it tried to gore him to death? That's crazy, man. That happened in like 2000 and... Must have been like 2013 or something like that. That's not like a 1980s story. Imagine he died like that. I say this, Conan is my goat in many ways. It would be a funny way to die in hindsight. Funniest guy ever dies in water buffalo goring accident on the set of his own show. I'm happy he's alive, but like the, it, if he had to go at that day, that would have been a better way to go. Well, for us, it would have been a better way to go than like hit by a bus or something. Imagine Jimmy Fallon having like a moment of silence on his show because Conan O'Brien got killed by a water buffalo the day before. Jimmy Fallon's like 45, just fucking don't laugh, 44, 44, 43, 42. <laughs> I don't mind him, honestly. I, I mean, I don't, I don't stand up for Jimmy Fallon, but I don't mind him. Just looking at Poke Doku now. Sino Huzui, baby. Austin Powers translated into a foreign language. I don't know. I don't know any of this. Which one is Hazui? Is that the bird in the backpack? That's Arceus Legends. Okay, I'm cooked. Let's just X out this row right here. Sino is Gen 4. It goes Kanto, Johto, Hoen, Sino. Four is diamond and pearl. Okay. You're going to X out this row too, guys. And then baby Pokemon, I'm... <laughs> uh, uh, listen, is Hitmon top a baby? Because they don't look like siblings to me. Like, it, to me, it looks like this guy chooses whether he's going to go in the Chan mode or Lee mode later. Okay, baby normal, baby poison, bat, y'all, is, is there a younger Pidgey, Benny Safty voice, until, until someone makes an even smaller Pidgey? P dub kind of can I just put baby? I mean, I'll, here's what I know about babies in Pokemon. Okay, I know Smoochum is probably a baby. I'm gonna guess that Togepi has baby elements. I mean, it's literally a baby in a, in a fucking shell, dude. Cowboy had counter be spotted. Smooch him. Ain't nothing normal about smooch him, bro. Togepi. Egg type, okay? Machop mini. Okay, we got if we have any hope, it's gonna be Sino. Sino poison. Lilip. Sino fighting. Hitmon top. Sino fighting. Infernape. Yes! Sino normal. Hmm. <laughs> Sino poison. St sting. Stingo. 
Ting Lu? What the hell is Ting Lu, man? It's got a pocket knife for horns? What is what is Ting Lu, bro? What is Ting Lu? It has a Swiss Army knife head. Tinka Tink. Tinka Tink looks like a baby. Tinka Tink. Tinka Ton. Holy. Stack attack Oh, what was I thinking? Sino poison. I know. Gliscor. What's that marshmallow looking Pokemon? Goo me? <laughs> Gudra Hazui! Gudra Hazui? Gudra Hazui? It's not poison, bro! It's purple! It's a dragon? It has a snail shell, bro. Lilligant Hazui. Ursa Luna. Oh, Riolu is gettable. Stunky, Bidoof, Overquill. Weird Deer. That's tough, man. This is a tough choice. Munchlax. Oh, I always forget about Munchlax. That's Borlax, bro. What are you talking about? He's fat. Four legs and still legs isn't fat. He's Jack, bro. You could kick the shit out of you. You know that one? That and Germa, the best two uh, cultural exports out of the Boston area. Cabin in the woods. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 2003. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Oh! <laughs> had, that, had that 2010 stink all over it, man. Tucker and what? Littering and... It is a Reddit tier movie, and I do also like it. I, I would agree with you on that one. Oh, Binks, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Here's a Marvel Snap tip for you. Put... The Collector in every deck. Take two of those and call me in the morning. It will work. I was trying to think, what's the, what's the two drop that you're guaranteed to draw on turn two every time? Domino? Yeah, that wasn't even what I was thinking of. Thinking of the lady, maybe she's a one drop? It's been a while. Quicksilver? No, maybe it's the three drop? <laughs> Maybe the card doesn't do that, but it definitely has a lady on it. There is no card like that, okay? No, I'm not America Chavez, but I could see why you'd be thinking that, given the clues that I've given you. Thinking of the lady, Kitty Pride. nope. Misty Knight, <laughs> that's it. What does Misty Knight do? Nothing. She does nothing? So what we cost two energy, so what we do nothing. After four seasons in New England... The Patriots traded former Super Bowl MVP wide receiver Dion Branch to this NFC team in 2006. Then they'd trade him back in 2010. Seattle Seahawks. Wow! Doug Baldwin and Kobe Fleener were pass-catching options on this 2010 Pac-12 team that went 12-1 and and won the Orange Bowl. Oregon. Oh, worth a try. 
After finishing fourth, okay, the fourth best pitcher in the National Major League Baseball Association. Hideki Matsui. They don't have him. They don't have Hideki Matsui. They don't want him to win. It was Shane Bieber. Okay, Shane Bieber. With its logo being its name in white letters behind the blue background, this toothbrush brand sells standard toothbrushes and electric brushes like their Genius and IO series models. Who is Oral B? Redenbacher? This is Keegan Michael Key. It's Keegan Michael Key, that's a given. You want to be careful with this one. It's a beautiful visage. I'm, I'm getting some Beyonce elements. I'm not 100% sold on it. The beard is kind of throwing me for it. You know what? I'm willing to go Beyonce on that. I, I did the, the facial tech. No! Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington from The Good Wife. The architect, the, the Keegan-Michael Key and the Kerry Washington arrive calmly from their television programs with a sense of purpose. Relax, I'll handle it. Cylindrical tube of pretzel or cracker filled with various cheese flavors. These are called hobnobs. No? Um, hobnobs? Combos? Combos? Combos. Okay, it just took a second. What the hell is a hobnob, bro? I don't think I've ever had a combo, honestly. It's a British biscuit. Oh, my mistake. Joel McHale originally hosted The Soup, also known as Talk Soup, also known as The Soup. At the 2007 Oscars, this man won the Oscar for Best Oscar for his portrayal of Oscar Amin in the historical drama, The Last Oscar of Oscar. That is Forrest Whitaker. Chandelier. Sia. Almost put SZA for that. Would have been very embarrassed. I'm done. I'm done. I think you're right. I think it's Kerry Washington. Have you played Isaac Dull? This is just for you, okay? I got Bertle today. I'm so happy. I Bertle and Bertle is hard for me, man. Magic mushroom. Good start. Uh death certificate. It's an active item released in repentance. Mm, placebo. No. Okay. Which one's repentance again? That was the last one. Uh, what, which one's the one where you yell? You know, the one where... It, uh, maybe I'm thinking of... Uh, Gello? <laughs> that looks right. It's not that, okay. Oh, you were thinking of larynx. Okay, let me, oh God, they changed the clues to be harder. Description. Poop throwable. Number. Poop. Um, um, Montezuma's re Revenge. Diarrhea, flatus, poop, fart, shit, caca, bobby bomb. Tech X. 
Silhouette, please. Jar. The jar. <laughs> jar. Bottle. <laughs> Stupid. Quote. Saved for later. In a jar. In a vial. Cup. In a cup. In a sample. It looks like a, a, a urine sample cup. Petrified jar. Brother. Brimstone. I resign. The item was hold. The fuck is hold? Hold? It's tainted blue baby's item. They're doing too much, man. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. Hold? They called the item hold? It's poop you can throw. They said, what's the name? Couldn't, they could have called it pooperang. They said, hold. All right, well, I don't know. Dirt mind. Information. Intelligence. Percentage. Follow. Observe. Observe. Regard. To regard, to f I, I follow you, I stake you, secrets. Dirt, secrets, intelligence. Hmm. First one's usually the hardest. Percentage. Share. Stake. Interest. Descriptions of your involvement in an enterprise. I follow you, I observe you, I observe, I regard, post, hmm, pillar, pillar, pillar's a weird one, secrets, something you keep, secrets, dirt, information, intelligence, that which a spy dallies in. <laughs> Dare I say he's a damn genius? Pole, pillar, post, column. What are poles? <laughs> Upright supports. Easiest connections of all time. Hmm. Elements of an espionage enterprise. Spy tools. My impression, oof dust Americaner, speaking about Regenbogen Struzel. Rainbow sprinkles. The bit's growing on me. We're working on it. It's, we're still working on it. At some point, it has to be xenophobic. Bro, Canada and Germany are chill. Come on, oh, I'll come over, you come over. We'll give you some sushi, you give us some sausage. We'll clink our steins together and sing some songs. We'll have a good time. Don't worry about it. You, come on. As a German, I allow it. You can't be offended. It's banter, man. It's not like we were making a joke at Uzbekistan's expense. They took offense, and honestly, they should take offense. But we're talking about Canada-Germany violence here in 2024. You ever hear of male bonding? Chinese greeting that means you good. Ni hao. Best in show for one. Christopher Guest. It's a documentary. 
It's an ensemble. It's a comedy. It's a film. It's a movie. Ballroom music. Oh, brother. Modify as a hem. Was out in front. Led. Absolutely nothing. I'm in trouble. Stinky tofu has a strong odor. Award. It's award. No! Absolutely nothing. Nada. You can count on me. I will. Quickness. Haste. Like a rainbow's path. Arched. Arced. Arched. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> Arct, yes, arct. That's why in French they call it arc en seal or something, right? Something like that. A rainbow. Mon impression of la Canadienne. Écoutez vous, arc en seal, a rainbow. I tried. I tried. Hang on. I got to cough one more time. We're so back. It's a business. El Monterey chicken chimichanga. Have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. 18 five-ounce chimichangas. I got to believe that that's like a $14.99, Andy. I'm going to put my guess in because I want to talk before people accuse me of engaging in chicanery. Pretty good. What the hell is a chimichanga? I know a burrito. A burrito with sauce on the top is an enchilada. What's a chimichanga? It's a, it's a fried burrito. Oh, okay. Is it good for you? <laughs> Sorry. Twelve ninety nine. Pretty good. I mean, that's like seventy cents a chimichanga, bro. That's insanely cheap. I guarantee each one of those is like at least four hundred and fifty calories. That's cheap, man. Six hundred? Even better. It's good for the soul and we're here for a good time. I've been saying that a lot lately. I've been saying it's like because my wife was uh, insulting Coke Zero yesterday. She said it's bad for you because of the chemicals. I said it's good for your spirit. I don't know how to explain it, but I believe it. It's, you can just say that. You can say it about anything. I'll admit you can say like cigarettes are good for the, the spirit. It doesn't have to be true. It's like a mana potion. It's good for the spirit. I, believe, I actually, I'm, I would say mana potion is fair. If you get it from McDonald's, it's an elixir though. It's a mana potion and a health potion in one. Hmm. Kier Giz Stan. You ever realize Kier Giz Stan kind of shaped like the USS Enterprise? I didn't until now. 6,000 kilometers. Singapore. 3,000 kilometers. Let's go crazy. Seychelles by the seashore. That's colder, okay? That's the coldest of all. Marshall's Island, that's warmer, but not by much.
Tasmania? Nope. Tanzania? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Australia. That's warmer. It's the warmest of all. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Easter Island? No, fuck. Christmas Island? Ugh. American Samoa? <laughs> Vanuatu? It's colder. It's fur... It's fur... It's further away from Vanuatu than it is from Singapore or Australia. Brunei. It's warmer. Close to Australia and Brunei. Micronesia. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Federated States of Micronesia. We're, we're triangulating. Um, uh, 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 Timor and Lest. Timor Lest. That's <laughs> I don't know. I need your help. I don't know what I don't know what we're doing here. I've, I've used all my ammunition. Palau. A mystery country is Paul. Wow. That's tough, man. That's, they got me today. They got me. I thought I was cooking with Micronesia, Brunei, uh, Timor Leste. Like, I, I was racking my brain for the usual suspects of, of Pacific Islands, but that is a, that's a tough one. But you know what? It's a tough one. We learn something. Do you believe in Pangria? I do. I do. This is a fucking lung. <coughs> this is your lung, bro. I don't know what the hell. It's got a fucking snake's tongue. I don't know what you are. Assuming this is like a body of water. I'm just going to throw out like a Pakistan. I don't know. It's Africa. Africa. Mozambique. How about that? <coughs> South of Moz... It's Antarctica! Ha! Huh? South... 6,000 kilometers south of Mozambique. There was nowhere else to go, man. This is not a country. It's not a country. I mean, I'm not mad. It's funny, but it's not a country. Is an is a land mass. It has a GDP and a government. Are they in the United Nations? Who's the president of Antarctica? It's Brittany, bitch. Wait, is that true? October 4th, 2013. Warner Brothers opened a 55 milli. Could be... Ah, it's way too low for Dark Knight Rises. Don't be silly. Starring Sandra Bullock. 2013. It's the blind side? Genre. Science... Oh, it's gravity! Five points wasted. Tagline, don't let go. Sony Pictures, 38 milli, second week, starring Bill Hader. It's an animated picture. I don't know what Bill Hader was in animated movie-wise. Something big was left over. The Crudes, too. <laughs> After the disastrous food storm in the first film, Flint and his friends are forced to leave the town. 
Flint accepts the invitation to join the Live Corp Company, which has been tasked to clean the island, where the best inventors of the world create technologies for the betterment of mankind. When Flint discovers his machine still operates and now creates mutant food beasts like living pickles, hungry taco dials, chimpanzees, and apple pythons, he and his friends must return to save the world. God is my witness. I, I don't know what you are. It's cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a bit of a blind spot for me. Fake fan. You got me. Hang on, hang on. Justin Timberlake opened to $7 million. This movie is called um, In Time. This movie is called About Time. No. This movie stars Ben Affleck as well. And the house... Oh, oh this is um, Molly's Game. Nope. The house always wins. Gemma Artetan. When a poor college student who cracks an online poker game goes bust, he arranges a face-to-face -face with the man he thinks cheated him. A sly offshore entrepreneur. I fucking saw this movie on an airplane. I don't remember anything about it. It was called... I don't remember anything about it. Runner, runner. Holy, that's a blast from the past. Runner, runner. I 100% saw it on an airplane. Who? Who? Bit of a box office, box office bomb, sure. I don't know, 62 milli worldwide. She went crazy in Tashkent. Warner Brothers, week three, 50% drop off for a movie starring Hugh Jackman from 2013. It's, not, it's too late for real steel. Hugh Jackman, drama. It's Prisoners, maybe before the Villeneuve Sons. That's crazy that Prisoners had a 50% a, a fall off week two to week three. That's a fucking classic, bro. That's a great movie. Final gross, 61 million domestic. Shit's barely clear in Runner Runner. Criminal. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw a video on demand. My dad bought it. Great movie, though. 55%. Week three, Universal Studios, Chris Hemsworth, 2013, Chris Hemsworth. It's an action movie, huh? Everyone's driven by some. Is this Rush? It's Rush. It's a good movie, too. Not a horrible week at the multiplex. Just, you know, skip Runner Runner is what I would say. I would say skip Runner Runner, go see... Go see a Prisoners and Rush double bill. Maybe see Gravity, be part of the zeitgeist. People don't talk about it that much anymore, but still. I feel the rush, addicted to your touch. So true. Hey, my friend and I have a bet. We bet you don't know who Troy Sivan is, and if you heard about them, it would break your brain. Care to confirm? Peter Postlewaite, Daniel Day-Lewis, Jake Gyllenhaal, Emma Thompson, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal. I know what I must do. I know what I, I know what I gotta do. 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 Okay. In the name of the Father is where I'm going. Okay. I know. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Just let me think about this. I'm, I'm running through Jake Gyllenhaal ensemble pictures in my head right now. Trying to get to Ben Affleck or Dustin Hoffman. Jake Gyllenhaal ensemble. Donnie Darko. Featuring. Seth Rogen. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, Ben Affleck. Drew, okay. Donnie Darko. Drew Barrymore, Charlie's Angels. K 
Cameron Diaz. Back it up. Back it up. Let me think about this for a moment, okay? Billy Magnuson. Game night. Rachel McAdams. I'm just seeing who's in this. I know this guy. How do Chad, how do I know this guy? How do I know this guy? He's from the menu. No, 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 no. He's from um, he's from the Werewolves Within movie that Ubisoft made. He is also in the menu. Okay, okay. That's your friend Malph. He does have a certain uh, mouthiness to him for sure. Fucking catfish gene, bro. Catfish gene. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm stalling. <clears throat> Who am I trying to get? I'm at, uh, 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 Dustin Hoffman, who's in the ensemble picture, I Heart Huckabees with Mark Wahlberg. It's easy. Is it easy? It's easy if I could start at Matt Damon. You need to be Wahlberg maxing. You need to be Wahlberg maxing. Conor McGregor. The fighter. Oh, fuck. What have I done? No, 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 no. <laughs> you say the notorious? Oh, God. Um, probably go with Floyd and Money Mayweather. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess if I had to, I'd go KSI and the Paul's Primes for Success. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Okay, Jake Paul. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not getting any better, man. It's not getting any better. I guess I'll go... <laughs> what the fuck is this filmography? I'm going mainstream. Okay, okay. Jason Schwartzman, I Heart Huckabees. I Huckabees? Huckabees, Huckabees. To Dustin Hoffman. To fucking Last Chance Harvey. To Emma Thompson. To In the Name of the Father. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Thank you, Jake Paul. Anybody else get this line? Is this a unique line? Roadhouse to Conor McGregor. To The Notorious. To Conor McGregor. To Floyd Money Mayweather. To Floyd Mayweather Jr. To KSI and the Pauls Primes for Success. To Jake Paul. Jake Gyllenhaal to Abby Singer. Nobody's seen it. Sorry. No disrespect. All I'm going to say is everybody does. They try to do something unique. As soon as they see another motherfucker do something unique, they say, no, you did it wrong. You should have done it the same as everybody else. Sad. It's a sad story. Diaz to Gangs of New York. That's huge news, bro. What's coming back in return? Future considerations. It's Helldivers 2. Metacritic score of 72. It's the Indiana Jones video game. PS3, Xbox 360, PC. Silent Hill 3. Level up, you can spend your AP. RPG Shooter Stealth. Win Back. Project Poseidon. Originally released in 2010.
skip. Uh, developed by Obsidian? Is this Alpha Protocol? It is Alpha Protocol. All right. He do be crouching. There's no doubt about that. You're the only man to talk about Winback in like 15 years. I th Winback was an N64 game I always wanted. But I never bought it because I'd always be like, oh, fuck it. I trust Nintendo power. They said it's ass. Let's just get like Banjo-Kazooie or something instead. Then I rented Winback once and I was like, this shit is fucking garbage, bro. I'm glad I didn't buy it. Why did the clip show a stripper? It's 2010, bro. It's a different culture. For better and for worse. Mostly for worse. A little bit for better. The, five, the footlongs were still $5 at the time. But Here we go. Here we go. Did you ever rent Gex? No, but check this out. I did, um, I had a, a demo disc for the PlayStation 1 that had Gex 2 on it, Enter the Gecko. And that shit was crazy. It was like Austin Powers was a lizard. You're doing cool third person like action stuff, having a great time. Friend's birthday party. My parents said, what should we get him? I said, you got to get him Gex. He's going to love it. I played the demo disc. It's crazy. So it's not their fault. I told them to buy Gex. Then he unwraps it. He's, it's, he's like, whoa, it's Gex. I can't wait to try it. Puts the disc in his PS1. It's a side-scrolling platformer? They lied to me, man. It was ass. The second one was going off. Tales of Berseria. Symphony of the Night. Fire Emblem Awakening Sky Correct Saga Fire Emblem They got my brother upside down What is he doing, man? F Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia <laughs> He's just chilling I would see, they couldn't have had him like standing up or something. Fire Emblem. The Path of Radiance. Fire Emblem. Three Hopes. Game was Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's Fire Emblem Three Houses. My mistake. Not Three Hopes. That's a different one. This is like an 8,000 pixel wide screenshot. It took two seconds to load. This is Death Stranding. This is Verdun. It's probably Atelier Riza, Ever Darkness in the Secret Hideout. Skip me? I honestly couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, it's For Honor. It's For Honor. Oh, For Honor. They should bring that back. What else is Ubisoft doing right now, anyway? 12 Assassin's Creed games? It never left. Yeah, but they got to make a new one to like shake off all the people who've been playing it for like the last nine years straight and are ruining the multiplayer experience for everybody else. Nuclear Spelunky. More recent than 2008. We got some yellows on this one. Mm, the Evil Within 2. Single player only game between 08 and 2017. 
that is isometric, probably. Rimworld. Oh! Sometimes it just works. Game they'll guess in three, people will tell you it's luck. Don't get it twisted. It is not luck. It's skill. That's huge. I'm riding high on that one. Take the thumbnail from that. Guess the movie title of the day. Isn't that special? Hmm. It's a real tough one, unless you're a Ridley head. Hmm. A, an R-rated 1979 science fiction horror movie beloved by all? Hmm. I guess it could be Alien. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Mr. O'Bannon. Thank you, Mr. Scott, Miss Weaver. Mr. Holm, Mr. Hurt, and the various other people involved. Mr. Geiger, thank you so much. Ripley. <laughs> the war we fought on LV-421. What a war it was. They said nuke it from orbit. We said we can't be sure. We can't be sure. Newt may still be down there. We can't nuke it yet. Paul Reiser said, hang on. Paul, you remember him mad about you, Helen Hunt. You remember Face eaten by a xenomorph, I believe. That was fun. Um, you know, I haven't played travel in a while. <laughs> Don't fight uphill, me boys. Don't fight uphill. What's with your title? It's fucking Swag Wednesday, bro. Today I'd like to go from Macau to Kosovo. Okay, step one. Put the Dua Lipa track on. We go to China. I honestly thought this was Kosovo and that was Macau, but this puts it into perspective. We're going to follow this up with a little Russia. Now we're cooking. I would probably go Ukraine. I would probably go... Can you? Can you... Yes, fucking rotate this shit, bro. That's not... I need you to rotate it, bro. I'm Mercator-pilled. I can't think... I can't think like this. Bulgaria? Oh, no. Serbia. Romania. It's pretty good considering they got the thing all twisted up, man. It's actually, that's one that looked hard because it covered a great geographic distance, but is actually insanely easy because you got to do China and Russia at the same time. Do the weekly? Oh, brother. Weekly, what's the weekly? Today I'd like to go from Cambodia to Egypt while only traveling along the coast. Okay. Thailand. Myanmar. Now things get a little tricky. We are going to be traveling through Israel by necessity. We're going to be... I got to bridge the gap here, man. I know at some point there's going to be an Iran. And at some point there's going to be an India. India connects to Myanmar. That's crazy. Between Iran and India, you get Afghanistan. Maybe you know you probably just get away with Pakistan. And then... Around here, you got like Jordan, Syria, Lebanon. I almost feel like Turkey 
even though like it's only just a piece of it that comes down here, but does that does that give you enough? Are you are you gonna connect down through like Saudi Arabia? And then no, 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 it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I think you will go through Jordan. No, Jordan is so small, bro. You probably go Syria. No, but it's so close. Iraq. I'm not on the coast, bro. <laughs> Turkey? Where am I where am I coastless? Chat, where am I where am I coastless? Syria has no coast. Okay, thank you. Lebanon? Lebanon has no coast. Cyprus? What? Oh, you're missing one on the south? I, I've got to connect. Oh, I see. I got to connect this way. Oh, brother. I got to. It has to be the same coast the whole way. Okay, you go Saudi Arabia then. I was flip-flopping coast to coast, man. Then you got to go Jordan. And then you're there, right? Oh, brother. <laughs> Bahrain? Oh, come on. <laughs> Kuwait? Kuwait? How the fuck am I not connected, bro? You're missing one at the very beginning? What? You're right. Like, like Thailand is not connecting to Myanmar, bro. Of course it's not. What do you mean? It's all coast. It's 100% it's coast. Malaysia? Okay, that shit is... Filling in. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, I have to keep this line unbroken. Okay, I understand. You can't skip coast to coast. I understand. I understand now. So because what I was going to do is like be like, boom, Sri Lanka, and then it connects, but it doesn't connect. So you have to connect here, which is Bangladesh. And then this is all going to fill in. And then we got to go... Yemen and Oman and the UAE What's the problem? What's the problem? Brother the lines the lines connect they're, ad they're adjacent to each other. Do they though? What, what do you mean they don't? Con is, is this another country? Or is this, because when I mouse over it, it says Saudi Arabia. So why does that shit say Saudi Arabia and it even makes a bold outline if it's not Saudi Arabia? It doesn't, it, it doesn't make any sense, man. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I think they overcooked the weekly. There's too many like weird rules. If there's a you, just me as a play tester, as a play tester, there's some UX issues. Like um, I still I, I I get now that like no I don't actually. Why why was this? not filled in, but it's Saudi Arabia. Because it's on the coast? Yeah, but it's on the coast. Like, it's, it's, it's filled in now. It's touching the coast. Because the coast goes through Qatar. But these are, these are touching, though. 
I don't understand. Like, can't I just, like, I'm on the beach, right? And then, like, here's the border. Don't I just walk? I guess it's not even a border because it's the same country. Don't I just walk and then there's just like a kind of like an island next to me? I'm, it's not a limmy bit. I'm like, from my, from my understanding, this is the coast. It's a peninsula. Well, in my personal opinion then, zoom in, enhance please, enhance, 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 enhance. 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 They won't let me enhance anymore. They shouldn't have a fucking space here that seems to indicate that it is not connected to the landmass. Go on Google Maps. You, you're providing a map to me as we speak. Why should I have to go somewhere else to source my maps when I'm at the map store? This one, maybe it's just this weekly. Me personally, I think this, this one weekly had a little UX, UI issue. That's all I'm saying. Might, might just be a Qatar, Saudi Arabia thing, but I wouldn't worry about it because it's the last time you're ever going to see the Travel Weekly ever again. 9,000 people in chat understood. Honestly, 8,100 people here can't tie their shoes. There are 900 people who are very vocal. Probably 50 of them understood, and the other remainder were merely just echoing what the VIP said. That's the way mob dynamics work. That's why I got to come out with the fucking fists out here. Because if I, if I go, oh, sorry, chat, you're right, they just kill you and eat you. You got to fight for your life. You got to scare the rest of them. You got to go Rorschach mode on them. You got to go, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. I don't think it was, I, I think, you know what, just for that Puck Doku, you're getting Puck Doku. You asked for it, you're getting it. Here you go. Oh, you didn't know fucking Boom Boom Bernie Jeffrey on played for Montreal and the Colorado Barons back in the day? Ten wins for a goalie in a season. Boom. Mike Vernon. That's a gimme. Ten wins for a goalie in a season. Yunus Corpusalo. Just kidding, it's never happened. This is what fucking playing on the Columbus Blue Jackets does to a motherfucker. That's rough. You hate to see that. <laughs> this is what happens when you face 52 shots a night, 70 times a season. 10 wins for a goalie. Probably me personally, I'd have to go Manny Fernandez on that one. Maybe that's just me. The rest of these are impossible. <laughs> Mike Vernon. Mike Vernon definitely fits here. I respect uh, a goalie that rocks the CCM, man. Just the classic bucket. Doesn't even have like the Patrick Waugh angles on it or nothing. Like a puck can fit through there. It could fit through his, his eye hole. Rick Nash. A.K.A. Chris Pratt. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ryan Reeves. I'm scratching my brain. I'm thinking. Flurry. Calgary, Detroit. Calgary, Detroit. It's a tougher one. It's a tougher one. Detroit, Columbus. You know what? My brain hurts. I think it's good enough. I'll take the I'll take the Nigerian flag today. I told Mike Vern should have used him there. Fedorov is the gimme. Thomas Vanek never would have gotten it. Hey, this must be an easy one. At least everybody in the Best game it has a photo. That's a new one. One of them even has 2%, man. That's crazy. 
Well, Red Wings are like a blind spot, but they're kind of not a blind spot. The problem is that for the 15 years that they were dominant, they never traded with anybody. They just were the only team that had any scouts in Russia. So they were like, boom, guess what? You boom, you looking for this? Six new incredible Russians. Boom, you looking for this? Yeah, we're the only team that's ever been to Sweden. Little guy by the name of Nicholas Lidstrom. They never, they never had to trade, bro. Back in the pre-salary cap era. Now, you did have to arrange for like a middle-of-the-night exfiltration of the player from the Soviet Republic, but rules were a little different back then. Joaquin Phoenix, Julianne Moore, Sean Penn. Sean Penn, one word title, Milk. Sean Penn, three or more word title. I am Sam. This is going to be a high performer, I'll admit. Sean Penn, 1990 to 2010. Mystic River. I'm not a big pen head. So I, I, those are going to be the consensus choice, but we take those, okay? Julianne Moore, one word title. Gloria... Gloria, Gloria Bell, Gloria, Gloria Bell, Gloria Bell, Gloria Bell. It's two titles. It's two titles. Two words. Two words. Okay, don't be, be careful with that one. One word title. Mm, Magnolia. Now, oh, I should have gone with uh, something else. <laughs> I should have gone with something else. I thought that would be low. I forgot Paul Thomas Anderson's got shooters. Three or more word title. For Julianne Moore, Children of Men, Children of Men, released from 1990 to 2010, Blindness. Or as the people in the theaters described it, Blandness, I think. The kids are all right. Suck on that 12%. One word title, ignore the. Okay. In that case, we will ignore the, the master. I'm not playing Joker. Paul Thomas Anderson's got shooters. Yeah, prove it. All right, he's still got a couple. Three or more word title. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Released from 1990 to 2010, Joaquin Phoenix. Of course, there's a gladiator in there. There's a her in there. Lots of stuff. It was some dog shit Joaquin Phoenix was in back in the day. The Village? The Village? He's in Signs. Maybe, maybe people forgot about Signs. I can't remember if he's in The Village. He is in The Village. Okay, well, top 23%. We'll take those. Pretty good. Pretty good. A, couple, a few most common pieces, but it happens. I love the movie ones. The Johnny Cash one, Walk the Line. Signs was dog doo-doo. Wrong is Kino. Go ahead, tell me about the plot holes. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, the aliens are allergic to water. Why did they go to a fucking planet that's 70%? I don't, I don't care. It scared me at the time. You can't take, I can't refund my scares when I read a Reddit essay about the movie 10 years after it came out, okay? What, when you were 10? I was like 13. It was scaring adults in the theater too. The scene when the alien walks across the alley. It walks across the alley, the, using the knife to see the reflection of the alien under the door. It couldn't possibly be aliens. Oh wait, there's a fucking alien in the, in the, in the house. The, the, just seeing the leg go into the cornfield, but you don't know what's going... He's... M. Night Shyamalan had the sauce, man. For a little bit, he had the sauce. Has? No, I wouldn't go that far. He recovered some of the sauce. With Split, I think, but I don't think he has the sauce anymore.
Old was fun. Too real for me. I'm already on the beach that makes you old. It's called Rec Beach. Look it up. Don't use Google Image Search. Hang on. Select all images with a fire hydrant. Done. I've been verified. Emerge. A verb meaning to become manifest. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Fantastically. A adverb meaning in a fantastic manner. Fan Rapids. A noun. We're going to the moon, man. Infirm. A adjective. Clipper. A noun meaning one that clips. God's strongest soldiers. Cautioned. A verb meaning to advise caution. Enunciate. A verb meaning to make a definite or systematic statement of. That one, I, I was 80% confidence on that one. Etude. A noun meaning a. Petrifying. An adjective meaning overwhelmingly. Fr you don't hear that anymore. Petrifying. It's an antediluvian ass word. Gluttonous. An adjective meaning marked by or. Grimaces. A noun meaning a fake. Meringue. A noun meaning a dessert. Ooh, we're popping. Floruit. A noun meaning a period of flourishing, as of a person or movement. Borrowed from Latin floruit, meaning prospered, flourished, from florer to bloom, prosper. Floruit. A noun meaning this a period of flourishing. This is for all the marbles right here. As of a person. Oh, <laughs> no shot. That looked right to me, man. Rorschach. A adjective yeah, I'm meaning not locked in here with you. You're lo oh. Merrimack. A geographical name meaning river 110 miles. Think I'm not Canadian? I know all about the Merrimack, brother. Oh, I forgot a C, Rorschach. I thought this was a captcha before the actual game. POV, you are on 10 grams of edible cannabis. Floruet! Come on. Still a pretty good daily. Ten grams? I meant ten uh, micrograms. Whatever. Allison Bree and me in three years. It's probably Horse Girl. It's probably Pitch Perfect. I don't know. I don't know shit that Allison Bree. Wait, Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Okay, Will Arnett, Allison Bree, and me in three years. Um, um, baby mama, due date, due date, due date. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, Allison Bree, and me in three years. Lego, the Lego movie. That's the Lego movie, guys. His name's Emmett Brukowski. It must be like animated movie week at acted.com. I can't wipe the frown on my face when I say it, but it's Chris Pratt week here. POV, you're a Hollywood executive. It's Chris Pratt week at Universal Studios. We put that in everything. Frank's Red Hot Sauce crossover. Steve Carell, animated. Gru, Jack Black, animated. Kristen Wiig, animated. I don't know. I don't know that one. The rest of them I know. Jack Black, four plus words in title. How about, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. I saw that motherfucker in the poster when we played it in the previous game. That's him right there. Jack Black, animated. Me personally, I'm a different kind of beast. I'll probably just type in animated. I go Kung Fu Panda 3. Everyone's thinking one, 
or four, because four just came out and one's the original. But if everybody's thinking one or four, you hit a Nash equilibrium, which pushes so much aggro to two, which is why I take three. Release date 05 to 2014. That's easy enough. Probably go with the holiday. Lots of, lots of wonderful... 27%?! Are you smoking crack? I should have thought about that one a little longer. People love the holiday. This fucking I just farted face. I love Jack Black. This is coming from a place of love. Shallow how? That shit came out in like 01, brother. Should have gone the Polka King. So true. Me, when I finally get a movie grid that's asking for Jack Black and Jenny Slate. Oh, the Polka King! Of course! This is pissing me off. 27%, that's pissing me off. Steve Carell, four plus words in title. The Rise of Gru. <laughs> Release date 05 to 2014. I got to hit you with a Dan in real life on that one. Pancake movie. <laughs> what else were you thinking? I don't know what else. Steve Carell, four words in title. I'm like, big short. Fox catcher. He's a great actor. Don't get me wrong. Beautiful boy. Like he doesn't. Oh, the 40 year old virgin. That's going to clear minions though. Despicable Me, three. You always go three, man. Oh, that's seeking a friend for the end of the world. That would have been a pull, man. Okay, Kristen Huig. Kristen Huig. Four plus words in title. Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. 59%? For Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar? How many podcast listeners they got on this game? That's insane. That's crazy. <sighs> My ass really going to come out here and play Bridesmaids? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Free Space on the bingo card? She's been in, she's in downsizing. That's not animated. Though they imagine they did probably use some CG, considering Matt Damon is about four inches tall. She's in Knocked Up. She is in Knocked Up. She plays Alan Tudyk's assistant in Knocked Up. Okay. The Lego Movie. It must be true. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Say it. Top 37% of players. Oh, Despicable Me. <laughs> Despicable Me, of course. Holiday, this shit's pissing me off. Yeah, yeah, we all know Chris Pratt is playing Mao Zedong in the Cultural Revolution movie from Disney. The, what I want to know, who's, who the fuck is playing Chiang Kai-shek? Because I've always thought that that was like a Joel Edgerton role. Like he was built to play that role. Who the fuck is playing Chiang Kai-shek and Dr. Sat Yun Sen? And who the fuck is playing Deng Xiaoping, okay? The Rock is playing Deng Xiaoping? Oh, brother. Okay, but we could still, if we can get Bob Balaban as Dr. Sun Yat Sen, we could still save this man. Balaban has been hair maxing for this role his whole life. He's already got the glasses. Please, Bob Balaban is Dr. Sun Yat Sen. Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh, brother. You swap audiobooks? No, I just fucking know shit, bro. You just pick it up.
the sin of matrix. It's time to punish ourselves. I'm not doing Bertle. <laughs> Sorry, not sin of matrix. Actorly. This is where shit gets real. <clears throat> I named Bob Balaban and Sine two Nerdle duels after a hundred rounds. It went off. I could I could tango with you with Bob Balaban, but only for a minute. So Bob Balaban, he's in um, Waiting for Guffman. He's in the Grand Budapest Hotel briefly as one of the other hoteliers, and he's got to be in another Christopher Guest movie. You could catch me throwing out maybe. Maybe he plays a, a, a judge in um, Best in Show. Did we get there? Close? I'll take it. He's in Ghost World? I gotta see that shit again. I knew Birch, Johansson, Buscemi. I believe Michael Pitt's in there as well. Big Lebowski, Iron Man. Call me crazy. I'm going to hit you with a little Jeff Bridges on that one. Iron Man 2 and Iron Man. That's a tough one. <laughs> That's tough, man. That's tough. Me personally, I probably first thing that comes to mind, I got to say, with Robert Downey Jr. probably. Jungle Book, Iron Man. I got to go John Favreau on that. Okay. Iron Man 2 and Iron Man. I was going to go John Favreau on this. I guess instead we'll pivot. We'll go a little sliding doors core. Okay. Pulp Fiction, Iron Man 2. Start, let's go. Let's start here. That's not a problem. We just got to think about it, okay? Oscar-winning actor, actress from The Big Lebowski. There's no shot. Uh, John Goodman doesn't have an Oscar for something. What? I mean, you could always just say Jeff Bridges, I suppose, at the end of the day. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman ever win an Oscar? Let's check. We're here. Might as well check. Okay. Iron Man 2, Oscar winning actor, actress. We got to go Robert Downey Jr. on that one. Jungle Book, Oscar winning actor, actress. I don't know who's in this. At all. I have no idea. I had to take a peek. I had to take a peek. Okay, Pulp Fiction, Iron Man 2. You got Mickey Rourke. Is it possible Mickey Rourke is in Pulp Fiction? I don't believe so. You got Robert Downey Jr., you do not have John Travolta. You have Sam Rockwell. You have Gwyneth Paltrow. You have... All right, that's tough. This is a tough one. How about... Um, um, maybe Patricia Arquette made a cameo. Maybe um, um, Samuel L. Jackson shows up as Nick Fury. Okay, easy. Pulp Fiction, Big Lebowski. Maybe Patricia Arquette shows up briefly. Maybe Tim Roth is a bowler. What about John Turturro? John Turturro is not in Pulp Fiction. Any chance Ving Rhames? They don't, I forgot that, brother. This is relevant. They don't have Ving in this. Can I get, can I get Ving Rhames' uh, like real name so, they, so I can put him in? Irving? Irving... <laughs> Any percent vingless? It's not here, man. It's not here. It's not here. No, brother. <laughs> yes, I would like to give up. Fucking brain fuck ass string at the end you want me to copy. Steve Buscemi... Who is Steve Buscemi in Pulp Fiction? He's the waiter. Jack Rabbit Slim's waiter. That's crazy because I watched the movie 
I mean, I'd seen it many times before. I watched it like six months ago. didn't even notice. He's dressed as Buddy Holly. That's fucked, brother. That's a, that's a, if I, I would have paid even closer. I was already paying close attention because it's Kino, but if I'd known it was going to come back to bite me in the ass six months later, I would have paid closer attention. And I just, I mean, I don't know anything about the Jungle Book 2016. I'll just be honest with you. Okay, it was fun though. I forgot Food Guesser. We can't leave without Food Guesser, bro. That movie's long as fuck. Yeah, it's a treat. It's good. This is a ham sandwich, man. Are they mocking me? After I complained about, like, Food Guesser being too hard, they're hitting me with a bologna sandwich. Bologna, bread, mayonnaise, mustard, lettuce, and tomato. Um, the United States of America. Bologna sandwich. It can be found on the menus of diners, delis, and sandwich shops across the United States. Let me stop you right there, chat GPT. No, it fucking can't. I'm not saying it doesn't exist at all on the menus of diners and delis and sandwich shops, but it's, it's going extinct, okay? It's very rare these days you go to a, a restaurant and they're like, they got a bologna sandwich on the menu. This is fucked. What the fuck am I looking at? It's an eldritch horror. It's one of those AI-generated images that's like, hey, check, can you help me find this thing in my room? But then, like, your eyes can't actually make an object out of anything? What is this? Barley flour, water, and salt. What's the red, man? <laughs> What's the red? What is it? What's the red, man? It looks like a damn blister. This is eldritch. I mean, some countries got to take the fall. I'm sorry. I'm just going to... Start me out with the with a Ghana maybe, and then we'll see where we. That's cool, okay. Traditionally, a stiff porridge-like substance in a round shape with a hole in the middle, filled with red peppers. Oh, you might describe those as ingredients, maybe. Then that's just my two cents. Oh no, okay, never mind. Not that it would have changed my guess necessarily, but turkey. I don't know. No offense, Turkey. Name is Genfo. Yemen? That's hot. Saudi Arabia. That's warm. Oman? That's warm. It's Genfo from Eritrea and Ethiopia. I mean, that the picture there is, it's, it's everything about it. It's the, the JPEGness of it. It's the red pool in the center. But the thing that really triggers the amygdala for me is the forks floating in space. I get that they're under something, so it's like elevating the fork, but it looks like some alien food. I'm not, it's not the food, it's the framing of the image. And like the, the fact that all the forks are in it in like a circle, like it's like a ritualistic, like a cult thing or something. I don't know, man. Squid, pork, soy sauce, pear juice. Pear juice usually equals Korean. I mean, I guess this, this could just be like a simple Ojinga Dupbop or something like that. I, this looks like South Korea to me. Osam Bulgogi, my mistake, my mistake. By the way, any, any native Korean speakers in chat? Not my ass getting lit up, okay? Because I, uh, someone at, at our in-laws says, what's the Korean word for octopus? My ass, stupid as fuck, says nakji, because that's what I always learned. My wife and my wife's sister start going off on me. Nakji, nakji, nobody says nakji, bro. Everybody says mona. 
I didn't know. I've been, I've been looking at Nak G on menus for like 15 years. They got two words for octopus. So I used the wrong one. They patched it. Now they started to tell me, like when I had learned a little bit of Korean, they were like, you know, octopus is Nak G. Then I was speaking to people that speak Korean and they're like, Nakji only means the little octopuses. Why are they trying to divide us, man?